Welcome to eLearning Minds. My name is Kelvin. In these sessions, we're going to talk about um, authoring software. So, in this so in this part, actually, we're going to talk about uh, what is authoring software. Okay, type of uh, e-learning authoring software available. Who are the users for the uh, um, so-called um, this uh, the authoring software? Selection criteria. I think this will be the our main uh, portion uh, sessions of the uh, for these sessions because we want to look into the criteria how to select the right authoring tools for each of you. Yeah? And lastly, we're going to talk a little bit about the common challenges. So, <coughs> what is authoring software? Well, to be more specific, it's about e-learning authoring software. It's a computer program that enables users to develop uh, or design and develop e-learning materials. So typical um, authoring tools nowadays are more on slide base, okay? So it allows and allow you to insert uh, all kinds of media or objects like text and multimedia, okay? And uh, one of the main difference between um, e-learning authoring tools and others authoring tools, which is will be this part, the um, allow you to publish the the content in uh, industry standard like SCOM or TinCan API. So this is one of the reasons why PowerPoint cannot be considered as a e-learning authoring tools, even though PowerPoint is a very good authoring tools. Well, type of e-learning uh, authoring tools available? Well, one of, one of the type that is very commonly used uh, in the past is the PowerPoint plugin. So this is a very interesting uh, software, which actually um, is the addition in uh, that the additional functions that add on to your power, existing PowerPoint. Okay, and so most of the time, uh, most of the time, people prefer to use this uh, software, uh, this uh, type of software because most of the things will be done in PowerPoint. So, like for example, inserting text, images, it's all done in PowerPoint, which is so we are familiar with. Then making use of the plugin to just do uh, and um, additional uh, features like, for example, synchronize the audio with object on the screen, adding quizzes into the, in, into the content. So that's where this, uh, this uh, plugin works. Then the standalone uh, um, application, uh, which is great. There are many uh, standalone uh, software that allow you, authoring tools that can be installed on PC. And most of the time, this type of software, uh, this kind of authoring tools are mainly for you to create more complicated or, or more interactive uh, e-learning content. And lastly, the uh, third type is uh, basically is where you're talking about web so subscribe you just log on to the web as like and then everything is done on your browser so this is the good things about this is you don't need to install the software on your pc okay next i think before we go into criteria selection also very important to know who are the users so it can be people working in the training department where part of their responsibility is to create content maybe to e-learning content and of course, nowadays, a lot of trainer, getting more trainer and subject matter expert, uh, want to develop the con uh, e-learning content as well. So, and uh, used to be most of the time, uh, the main user of the authoring tools are the instructional designer and e-learning developers. If they are do their main job is to just to develop e-learning content. Yep. So let's look into the selection criteria. First, you must find out what is your existing content or materials or things that you want to develop. What are currently are they in form, what format or in what kind of, in what uh, situations. Like for example, it might be on, on internet or, able to, or in PowerPoint, in video format and so on. And also the expected output or outcome. You know, when you talk about developing or design uh, content for more to linear, presentations and compare with um, 
what you call this um, interactive content. Of course, maybe different tools may be, may, uh, may, may, may be good for different output. Okay, next is the delivering platform. A delivering of the content, you can talk, either talking about platform or devices. So when you talk about platform, you're talking about which LMS you are using. That may also need to be, uh, may affect your selections of uh, the authoring tools as well. Devices, yes. So whether are you good talking about de de create contents where you allow user to be uh, you to review the content on desktop, PC, uh, the, uh, the notebook, uh, tablet, or smartphone. Well. Uh, being a D, especially for DIY, we're talking about subject matter expert or trainer. When they want to do, when they want to develop content, one of the biggest challenges always having is the resources. Okay, things like characters, media, okay, icons. So, so hopefully we can, we must we must we we can get a tools or those or train tools we come together with some of these. Um, resources like characters okay so nowadays also a lot, a lot of um, customers also asking about is it possible to have this text to speech TTS where when they just need to type in the text and able to automatically generate the, um, the audio file okay so that they don't need to do record the voice recording well I was sorry to say that uh, most of the authoring tools do not provide that at this point of time. Okay, easy to learn and use, I think is very important for us because we don't have too much time to, we can reach, we not expect, we do not want to spend so much time in learning. And of course, at the same time also, we do not have in uh, so-called the um, privilege to spend time on creating. So, Definitely easy to learn and use become one of the important criteria. And features, well, I think um, when when we look into the software, authoring software, different software have different type of features that um, that provides in together with the authoring tools. Well, we must be we must understand when we when we are talking about creating e-learning content, so we must focus on features that contribute to build good instructional content, not multimedia and effects and all that, because those may be nice to have, but nothing too much contribute to the instructional design. So features, the functions like able to, for you to create, easily create um, quizzes with a flexible, um, uh, configurations on the quizzes or interactivities uh, that uh, enable you to enhance the presentations of your content so that must take into consideration then how about technical skill and the experience of the user or the author so it also makes a lot of difference uh, yeah, we, we may affect the decisions on which software to be used. So for those people who have back programming background, you may want to choose uh, authoring tools which is uh, a little bit more uh, powerful in terms of functions and features allow you to do programming or write scripting. But it might be for another person who will have no, not much experience in com using computer, they might want to prefer, they prefer to use something simpler and easier. So, and of course, next is the or the operating system. Okay, so not all uh, or not all authoring tools allow you to install on all different platform. So in fact, most of the authoring tools in the market um, uh, only allow you to run it under Windows. Okay, of course, there are some authoring tools also can be as, uh, deployed or be installed on uh, others. Uh, um, operating system like iOS. Okay, um, well, this is something that I was just mentioned also that in in some cases we are talking, some users prefer to use software which is installed on their PC so that when they use, every time they use, they can access to the PC 
to use their programmer of the software without uh, internet connections and so on. But of course, there are pro another um, advantage of using the cloud-based uh, software because uh, then allow you to have all constantly have free upgrade of the software. Okay, and of course the other the other thing is also um, depends on numbers of users. You are talking about if you have a lot of uh, uh, people who want to do authoring, then maybe the this the subscription or the cloud based one may be better. Okay. All the user always move around and they may want to just to develop the content to do authoring any on any PC. Then cloud based maybe it may be better. Okay. So support support from the users uh, from the uh, software provider actually is also very important because whenever we face a problem is there any way for us to ask the questions is there the bugs in the software or is there any other better way of doing the to 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 create the content that you would like to it to be and of course uh, one of the way is to look at whether do they have the what you call uh, online community or blogs that allow you to post questions and someone will able to assist you or the some others uh, user may able to provide you some good suggestion on how the workaround ways. Yeah. So one of the uh, popular uh, portal or the community site for e-learning is uh, e-learning heroes. You may check it out. So lastly, I think uh, budget is always an issue. So we want to when um, we also need to look into also the. Um, the aspect of whether you do subscriptions also by doing subscriptions annual subscription you may not need to pay um, all in one lump sum okay so you can pay throughout throughout the years when as when when you use it you get you get the um, uh, the software easily on on a subscription basis as well of course perpetual also have the advantage because you're talking about uh, uh, budget application uh, approval from the organization okay so if you do you go for subscriptions what happened if you do not get the, the approval for next following years uh, uh, budget so then you may not able to use us continue to use the software in the following years yeah so so these are the criteria that I've just gone through and hope it helps you to to to, consider, to make certain a better decision in selecting the right authoring tools for you. Remember, that depends on type of content that you are, you are developing or type of, and also what kind of expectations um, uh, in terms of the output as well. Yep. So, and before we end these sessions, also I'd like to just to point out a few common challenges that make by the user, by all of us when thinking about selecting or altering tools. And first thing is um, people will always wonder, can I have the best or one software, altering software that can solve all my e-learning content development needs? Well, answer is no. There's no such thing as the best or the only. Because when you talk about e-learning content, there are many types of output or, or type of uh, content that you want to develop. For example, simulation, software simulation, then you may need uh, tools which is more so suitable for screen capture, the uh, simulation or doing the simulation uh, of, the uh, of the software. Or you want uh, more to video, then you may want to have more functions or features in video editing. Okay, or interactive game. So different software may provide you um, uh, we're able to solve different set of uh, needs. Yeah. Uh, expect the authoring tool to perform like a media tool. Okay. So this is a uh, way challenging because uh, some client may ask me, Kelvin, can this authoring tools uh, to do video editing, to perform, to create 3D animations, or general uh, uh, editing the voice or record voice and so on. So, well, I would say most of the authoring tools do not uh, perform like media tools. Yes, they may able to help you to do a bit of uh, 
editing, simple editing, like video editing, simple video editing. But again, we must remember, altering tools, the main functions or the focus of altering tool is to integrate media, not creating media. Well, there are some people who also compare um, the functionality of features in learning management system with authoring tools, which is totally wrong because learning management system is the tool, is the software allow you to manage the content, not creating the content. And some people also want to keep on asking, can I have an authoring tool just to produce video format? Okay, in this case, I would say video is only one type of delivery of e-learning. So there are many other uh, options or any uh, many ways of deploying the content for e-learning content. So discard this idea about looking for a tools just for video format. Okay, make, and some people always make up, mix up with the features that uh, should be performed by RMS. For example, they may want to find out whether can this altering tool to able to do some tracking uh, and or to perform certain uh, restrictions on users, assessing and all that. Well, this is nothing to do with content. It's all so, so it's supposed to be done in LMS. LMS will do a lot of this, perform all this kind of uh, uh, criteria, of, uh, no sorry, criteria, uh, uh, determine how the content should be presented to the user, not the authoring tools, yeah? And lastly, I would say do not over -ex do expect too much uh, from the authoring tools because it's just a tool. You know, you can't expect the tools to produce excellent e-learning content without others' um, hard work. Like for example, your instructional design, your media preparations, and so on. Okay, so it's just like, I always give this example. Having Microsoft Word does not mean that you can be easily become a good writer or author. Yeah. So in this case, similarly, having a, um, the authoring tools does not guarantee that you can produce a good or excellent e-learning content. So that's all. Thank you very much, and uh, good luck in selecting uh, authoring tool uh, software for your for you. So thank you.